Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Hey, shalom, shalom. You listening in to Prophesying to the Wind Reloaded. We are we did we did going into another segment on fixing the broken black community. Today we're gonna be dealing with gang banging, a wicked and idolatrous life of destruction. I'm Officer Simakaya. Officer Bezalil. Officer Saraf. Soldier Azariah. All right, so getting started out, let's re read that in Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 21. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 42, verse 21. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness' sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. Read. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. So this is a people robbed and spoiled. That people that's robbed and spoiled is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are robbed and spoiled, and as you see, as we go on through, through this topic, you're going to see how, how the, the results of us being robbed and spoiled, we turn to gang banging. We turn to, to robbing and stealing and doing various things that go on in these different gangs. Read. They are all of them snare and hold. And believe it or not, them, all of those gangs, the, the GDs, the BDs, all of those gangs that set up in our communities are snares. They traps, traps to keep us locked up in a mindset, hating one another, killing our brothers. Read. And they are hid in prison houses. And it leads us to get locked up and we in jail 50, 40, 30 years. Read. They are for a prey and none delivereth, for a spoil and none saith restore. And what we see over the years is an ongoing cycle of destruction because we, we consumed in gangs. We go to, a lot of our young men go to gangs because they ain't got a father in the household. We go to those, we go to gangs because we, we want to feel loved or part of a part, part of something. When all actuality, we, what we need to be a part of is God's laws, the Bible. That's so right. bring up that article on a violation of unwritten gang rules led to the execution of nine-year-old Tyshawn Lee. So we're going to bring out various things that go on within these gangs that's that just show how wicked and evil it is. And we're going to also give you solutions on how to get up out of that lifestyle if you're in that lifestyle. Go ahead, read. A violation of unwritten gang rules led to the execution of nine-year-old Tyshawn Lee, authorities say. In life, Tyshawn Lee was a mischievous fourth grader who loved basketball, Xbox, and macaroni and cheese. In death, Tyshawn became a symbol of the cycle of gang retaliation that authorities say drives much of the violence in pockets of Chicago's South and West Side. And, and most of the stuff we're going to deal with is Chicago. We in Chicago, we're dealing with Chicago. Pull it, keep the article up. Um, and you notice that even in the, even all of it's, it's evil and wicked. You notice how they paint us, paint us, they automatically paint us in a bad light. That's what's set up, bro, bro. It says, the article starts out, in life, Tyshawn Lee was a mischievous fourth grader who loved basketball, Xbox, and macaroni. So start, they're starting off, they start off painting us in a bad light. So the media uh, promotes and plays a part in continuing that cycle in our mind, showing us that we are degenerate and things like that. When, when we, when, as we go on and see, all we got, the solution is going back to the Bible, applying the That's commandments. That's right. So read it says, in death, Tyshawn became a symbol of the cycle of gang retaliation that authorities say drives much of the violence in pockets of Chicago South and West Sides. The, the violence go on all over Chicago. Everywhere in, in the city of Chicago is violence. Read. And that's, that's what we just read. It says, this, people, this is a people robbed and spoiled. All of the violence, as we go through these different articles, you're going to see all of the violence, is, it results from us being and on low income, having no opportunities. We robbed and spoiled. We've been robbed of our nationality. We robbed of just about everything. We got the, the, um, the lowest, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Bring yeah, lowest on the totem pole. That's not the word I'm looking for, but we basically got the, low, the, 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 the minimal opportunities. When we really don't have no opportunities to succeed. The opportunities are often hid from us. But read on. You got something? No, go ahead, sir. 
Read on. Nearly four years after the skinny nine-year-old was lured into a south side alley and shot execution style by rivals of his father's gang, separate Cook County juries last week convicted Corey Morgan and Dwight Dottie in his killing. A third defendant, Kevin Edwards, pleaded guilty before the trial. All were alleged, allegedly members of the Bang Bang Gang, Terra Dome faction of the Black Peace Stone Gang. So as you see, as you will see, as we continue going on, all of these different gangs, they got like 20 different factions across the, across the um, city. And a lot of times, the factions be warring against each other. Teacher. And then you got, you got, you got the, what it was, a, go back up a little bit. They say it was a... It was, this is a bang bang game of the Black P Stones game, and the, the the young man that they killed, I think he was he was his he was, that was the son of a GD. Huh? Both of them, black, so called black, right. but yet they killing each other. But go ahead. The same people, same brothers. Yeah, that's the same. That, that's exactly. that blood touching blood. Yep, and just real quick, because a lot of our like we said, like I said earlier, a lot of our young men they turn to the gangs to so-called belong or, or, or be a part of something, when they join the gang, now you're rivaling with your brother. That's, that's the same, they look just like you, but you're rivaling with them. Get uh, Zephaniah chapter two and one. Because Bring the thing up. is, that's the right thought process, but you're going to the wrong, you're going to the wrong avenue. You, the gangs is not the solution. The gangs is not the solution. That's right. We have to, we got to come to the realization that the Bible is the solution to fill all those, 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 um, those gaps in our mind that we're trying to fulfill when we go into those games. Read that. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. So just that nation not desired is going right back to the scripture in Isaiah 42 and 22. Where it says we are people robbed and spoiled. But notice the scripture say, gather yourselves together. Not gather ourselves together under the under the BP, the black peace stone nation. Not gather yourselves together under the gangster disciples, under the, the black, the black disciples. No, that's the wrong thing because what you're doing, you joining that gang. Now you warring against your brother that look just like you. Teacher. That's going through the same struggles that you're going through. That's on low income just like you. But you shooting him down. Because you got beef with the, the, the father or you got beef with the brother or the cousin. Somebody got shot. Now you avenging, you revenging yourself. That's not what the Bible instructs us to do. Read that again. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together. O nation not desired. Uh-huh. Before the decree bring forth. Before the day pass as a chaff. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. So before the judgment of this nation come, we are commanded to gather together under the banner of the co commandments of God. Read on. Verse 3. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meet on the earth. So notice it says, seek ye the Lord. So us gathering together is not gathering together under some gang that's following after a five or six point star. Some gang that's following after a symbol or most of them is... Uh, they, 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 uh, little laws and bylaws go back to Islam. Right. That's facts. Read on. So it says, seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, read. Which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. So what we're supposed to be gathering ourselves under is seeking the Lord. And seeking the Lord is turning to the Bible. That's right. And applying the commandments. You got something you was going to bring up? Yeah, um, based on what you're saying, basically, you're saying that a lot of our people don't even realize that they are the same or the same nation, but yet they turn to gangs was was supposed to be for, like, uh, I guess, for protection, but yet yeah. they killing each other. Yeah. Like with the brother you brought out, what's his name, Tyshawn? Tyshawn uh, Carter, was it? Lee. Tyson right? Lee, Tyson Lee. That happened a couple years ago. That happened, I think, in, like, 2016. Right. I remember we went to go do a fly mission um, in that area. That area and spoke to the relatives. Yeah. And they gave more detail, you know, of what happened. We spoke to the, was it the stepdad or somebody we spoke to? I think it was. Stepdad. It was a while ago. It was crazy, though. Um, the story of that is, 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 is ridiculous. Lured the young man into an alley, 
because they they wanted his his uh, biological father. Could no, they didn't want his father. They, they it was intentional. The article well, didn't no, go no. into it. But they lured him in there, told him they had some candy for him. Remember, he when they showed him the gun, he put his hands up and they blew his fingers off. Damn. Killed killed him. Deacon um the Deacon Deacon Athan brought it out a while ago too. But I say I like to say this that it's it's a sick it's a sickness amongst our people. It was prophesied in the scriptures that nation was gonna rise against nation. Now we know according to the book of Matthew, just talking about the other nations, but amongst our own people, we we are killing each other. Give me uh, that real quick in Matthew, Matthew chapter twenty-four, and this is prophecy. This is prophecy. Check this out, Matthew twenty-four. Start at verse um, four. This is the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-four and verse four. And Jesus answered and said unto them. Take heed that no man deceive you. Take me heed that no man deceive you. Now, deception can come in many different forms. Hey, man, join this game. We got you. Come over here, but we're going to take care of you. Deception can come in many forms, but take heed that no man deceive you. Read. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. You got a gang called the Vice Lords. The Vice Lords, right? And they're supposed to be all about the community, but yet it's murder and bloodshed in that gang as well. Read. And shall deceive many. Read on. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Uh -huh. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. Uh -huh. But the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nation. Nation shall rise against nation. Now, we come here a lot of times, we talk about the other nations. But when you look at it, even within our own community, we rise against each other. We can't even get along, bro. We look at each other, we call each other ops. What the hell is an op? Well, op is an opposition, your enemy, your foe. They, 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 some of the games, they say, on foe now. Huh? On foe, you know what I mean? Like, it's so crazy. Keep reading, watch this. And kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines. Now the famine is coming. That's prophecy, right? Read on. And pestilence. That pestilence is <laughs> So we talking about prophecies that's, that's yet to come and prophecies that's existing at this very moment. Read. And earthquakes. Read on. In diverse places. Jump to verse um, 12. Is it 12? Yeah. Verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound. That's what I want to read. The love of many shall wax cold. Read that again. And because iniquity shall abound. Because sin abound here and within our nation. Because sin abound here in this earth amongst all the other nations. Because everybody's breaking the law. Law of the land. The law. Just Laws of this Bible, because sin abound in this earth. Read. The love of many shall wax cold. The love of many shall wax cold. You, you know it wax cold when you lure, how old was he? He was a uh, nine. You lured a nine-year-old in the alley just to kill him. That's, the love of many have wax cold. We feel that low, bro. We have no, no filter, no, no what? No remorse. No care. No care. Reprobate. Go ahead. Go back, to, go back to that article. Bring that article back up. Because that article, a lot of what you mentioned, the article going to go into more in detail and depth of why they lured the young man into the, um, into the alley. Read that article. The Nearly three targeted Tyshawn because in the happenstance of the un universe, as Assistant State's Attorney Patrick Waller put in put it in the trial's closing so listen, argument. So listen, so so just the, this 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 uh, get that in uh, Habakkuk. Is it Habakkuk two where they say they frame mischief by a law? Because look 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 at the wording of that. It says the three targeted Tyshawn because in the happenstance of the universe, what that got to do with the universe? Stop it. Get some help. That's heavy. He said, in the happenstance of the universe, they lured a young man into an alley to kill him right. in retaliation, but that's a happenstance of the universe. Huh? And it says, as Assistant State Attorney Patrick Wally Waller put it in the trial's closing arguments. So a lot of times, we look at the court system like it's, it's supposed to be just, but it's all about who, who lawyer can uh, convince the jurors the best. It ain't about who really guilty and all. It's, a, it's about who got the best story and who can um, 
uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Who can uh, 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 who can convince? I'm just gonna say convince. Who can convince the juror to to believe a side of the story? You, see, you got you find it. Get Psalms 94 and 20. Bring it out! Because we gotta we gotta understand that this this world. Everything in this world is set up against us. Everything that, that they put That's in place, facts. all the laws, everything is set up against us to yep. keep us from realizing that we are the Israelites and coming back to God's laws and applying the God's laws. Because these nations know and understand as we, as we start back, as we repent and start keeping the commandments, that the Most High is going to put us back where we're supposed to be, right. ruling this world. Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 20. Bring it up! Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law? So the throne of iniquity is this nation that we in. America is the throne of iniquity. Because in America now is the top nation. It says, shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? No, absolutely not, because they hate God's laws. Right. And it says they frame mischief by a law. They frame mischief by a law. They put laws in place mischievously to, to set a snare and a trap for us so that we can, no matter what we do, we're going to fall under that law. And a lot of you, a lot of you brothers out there, you gang banging, you, you selling drugs and all of this, what you think they got all these cameras in the community for? All they doing is building the case. That's it. They building the case up, and once they get to a certain point, they throwing the books at you. Indictment. That's a setup, bro. But our, brother, our brothers don't realize that. They, and, it, and nowadays, it's even worse. They, they literally, it's just brothers jump out the car, just spray the whole area, shooting innocent kids, all type of stuff. That's a wicked and idolatrous lifestyle. Go back to the article. Uh, read on. Just uh, start back up. The, the three, three targeted Tyshawn because in the happenstance of the universe, as Assistant State Attorneys Patrick Waller put it in the trial's closing argument. He was born to Pierre Stokes, a, a, reputed, a reputed ranking member of the rival Gangster Disciples Killer Ward faction. Go down. Seeking revenge for the recent shooting of Morgan's mother and brother, Dottie won Tyshawn's trust as a, at a playground and Dodds Park in the South Side's Grinsham neighborhood, dribbling his basketball before luring the boy into a nearby alley and shooting him multiple times at close range. That's, that's pure evil. And to get revenge at his brother, what was, his, what, what, what was the brother's name? Go back up a little bit. To get revenge on Pierre, Pierre Stokes, because of an incident that happened be prior to this, Go back down. It says, so basically, the young man, Tyshawn Lee, was at the court playing with his basketball. The brother walks up, basically say, hey, let me, see, let me see the ball. Shooting, playing with him. And then he, hey, come over here real quick. Lure him in the alley and shoot him multiple times at close range in revenge. Come on, let's keep going down. Let's see what he was getting revenge for. Morgan and Edwards watched from a nearby SUV. Now, Morton, now the brother that did the shooting is actually, he was actually doing the, doing the bittings of somebody else. Read on. Seven 40 caliber shells and his beloved basketball were found by Tyshawn's body. The intentional shooting shook Chicago and made, a head, and made headlines nationwide. And the thing about it, things like this happen all the time. This one just, it just was, it, it gained a, a national view, so to say. But this happens all the time throughout the streets and the hoods. This one just happened to get uh, publicized a little bit more. Read. But the fallout from the feud between factions of two-story Chicago gangs had repercussions beyond Tyshawn's killing. And many of those involved, including Tyshawn's father, still await their own day in court. And I remember, I remember when this happened, the father, he actually did a video. Was it this video? Am I mixing two stories? Was it, was it what they're shooting on the west side that was more recent? 
West Side. But that was wicked as hell too, though. Yeah. It's the same story. It's the same story. But same thing. And that's the thing. You we have ch we have children. You supposed to, the thing the thought of having children, like the scriptures say, children are a heritage of the Lord. The purpose right. you have children so that you can they can continue your name, continue what you what you uh started. Teacher. But in this case, he has a child, and his ch his child get a nine year old young man get killed because of your foolishness tied up with gangs. But you know what, officer, how wicked like um. Like behind all of this, right? You gotta ask yourself. We know we we know that these men are wicked as hell. They had the devil on them, right? Right. But just to show you how crafty Esau is. Esau is the so-called white man. For those who don't know, to show you how crafty Esau is. At one point in gang culture, especially I can I can speak on Chicago, that you couldn't even you couldn't even harm children and women, right? Gangs used to have a credo or a code where if you called your own rival gang member at his name, you could be set up for violation, meaning held to a gate and got a beat down. Right. Now, what, what happened? You played yourself. Esau decided these gangs are getting powerful. Mm -hmm. We got to lock up the heads of the gangs. Yep. Like when he opened up the article, he spoke on what? Was Larry Hoover? Or somebody he spoke on. But anyway. Uh, I, don't think, I, don't think it, I don't think it mentioned that yet. Okay, not yet. He was talking about that before the show. But. Esau knew that if they can lock up the heads or get rid of the heads of any organization, the body will fall. Esau know that. They know that. Just like the movie was it, uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. Yeah, yeah. They knew that they got rid of Fred Hampton, which w it wasn't a gang. It was just the, uh, the Black Panthers. Right. Um, they know that that organization was going to fall. But even then, he was, he was, uh, he was um, trying to get with the Black P-Stones. He was. He was. And they was, they was forming they, together, and that's when they They refused, took yeah. Them out. And what was it that J. Edgar Hoover said? That the most uh, uh, threatening thing to America, I might be butchering it, is that black. Messiah. The black Messiah, black unity. Yeah. Black unity. Now, the gangs, the chiefs, they, they had, they was organized at one point. And it was, it, was, it, was, it was wicked. It was, it was organized crime. Let's right. say it like that. Organized crime. And Esau didn't like it because they wouldn't get the piece of the pie. Now, look, they moved them all out the way. They legalized marijuana. And they can tax you on it now. Chapter 2, verse 1. Why do the heathen rage? Why are the other nations, why are the heathens so upset? Why are they, why are they raging? Read. And the people imagine a vain thing. And they imagine a vain thing. All they do is ponder and make up lies. Like these house, wicked holidays, holidays, read. The kings of the earth set themselves. Now the kings of the earth are talking about your Donald Trumps, your Fauci's, your Bill Gates. They set themselves up. As you read in the history in the Maccabees, like Alexander the Greek. Well, yeah, read on. And the rulers take counsel together. And that's what they do. When you look at the Pentagon, you see all these nations come together. They sit in this little semicircle, whatever, and they sit in what's called a think tank and think of many ways to destroy and dismantle the black community, so-called black community. Right. Right? Watch this. Against the Lord. Against who? Against the Lord. Against the Lord. Read. And against his anointed. And against the nation of Israel, his anointed. Read. Saying, let us break their bands. Let's asunder. dismantle their nation. Let's destroy them, their nation. Let's cut them off. How did they start it? Let's get rid of the leaders of these gangs. Because they're getting too big. Now, once we get rid of the leaders in these gangs, it's going to be like every man for himself. Because now they're shooting kids. You couldn't do that at first. Now they're killing kids and women. Like you had touched on, you said the little girl that got shot on the west side. She was seven years old. They, sh they, they shot her in a McDonald's drive through and they, knew, and, and they knew that she was in the car. They knew. They aimed at the passenger side. The dude, the, the, the father didn't get hit. So I say all that to say that Esau know what they doing. But it's our people who just lost in the sauce. They think that they're getting some type of street cred for dropping a child. That's a disgrace, man. Go ahead, officer. Evil. Evil. Go back to that. Pull that article back up. 
but started, but the fallout. But the fallout from the feud between factions of two-story Chicago gangs had repercussions beyond Tyshawn's killing. And many of those involved, including Tyshawn's father, still await their own day in court. Authorities have estimated that the rivalry between the Killer Ward and Bang Bang Gang Terra Dome factions was linked to some 15 shootings, including at least five homicides from 2011 to 2016. That includes the killing that prosecutors say inspired Tyshawn's brutal death, the attack that wounded Morgan's mother and killed his brother in October 2015. So this is letting you know, keep the article up. So this is, this is referring, this is why they murdered Tyshawn's, not Tyshawn, well, this is why they murdered Tyshawn, the, the uh, what was his name, Pierre, Pierre's son, because it was an attack that happened prior to it where his, the mother, the uh, Morgan mother, she, I think she got shot in the arm and his brother was killed. So this was their retaliation. Read. At least two gunmen shot 17 times at their car as they were leaving a mandatory meeting for parolees. Part of an anti-violence effort by Chicago police and other law enforcement, Tracy T. Tyne Morgan, a reputed BBG Terra Dome member, was shot 11 times and died from his wounds. Morgan's mother, who was driving the car, survived a gunshot wound to the arm. Authorities have said the breach of unwritten gang rules, the, wo the wounding of Morgan's mother, led Corey Morgan, also a, repu a reputed BBG Terra Dome member, to threaten to retaliate with attacks on rivals' relatives, no matter their age. And the thing about it is, because the, the one that got shot and killed, what was his name? What did it say? Uh, Pete, well, no, the other one, the one right here, Tracy T. Time Morgan. They, he said he, him and his mother was leaving a mandatory meeting for parolees. A parolee is somebody out on parole, right? So Tracy T. Time Morgan was out on parole, and who took, him to, who took him to the meeting? His mother. His mother took him to the meeting. So your son is in gang banging, selling drugs to his people, killing his people off, murdering, and you oblivious to it? You, you don't know, you taking them, so you taking them to his parole. Being a damn fool. So go to the real quick. Um, I got to touch on the scripture real quick, if I, if I may. R uh, Romans chapter 12, start at verse 17. Bring it out! This is the book of Romans. Because what's going on in Chicago, and it's been going on for a long time, is what they call get back or retaliation, right? And they're killing kids now because that's how bad they want to get back. Or they want, they yep. want the, the revenge, they right? They want you to feel it like they felt it. Right. But, and, and I heard, I've seen interviews of some of these, these rappers slash game bangers. They say, oh, they ain't going to never stop. Huh? And, and, they, and they say, why? But watch this. Read what you got. This is the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 17. Bring it up. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Read that again. Recompense. To no man, evil for evil. The Lord is letting us know that we have, it's not our responsibility to pay no man back, evil for evil. That's right. We're not supposed to do that. And it's going to tell us why. Read. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Uh-huh. If it be possible. If it be possible. Read. As much as life in you. As much of the amount of understanding that you have in you. And all that you can retain. Read. Live peaceably with all men. With some men. With all men. With all men. We're supposed to learn how to deal with each other like men. Talk it out, not shoot it out. That's Matthew right. 18. Yep. But they don't know that. Read. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself. It said what? Avenge not yourself. Don't get get back. Don't get paid back. Don't get retaliation yourself. Read on. But rather give place unto wrath. And read that again. But rather give place unto wrath. It says it's basically it's saying it's okay for you to be upset, but don't give get revenge. Watch this. Read. For it is written. Is what? For it is written. Meaning it's documented in the law, in the Bible, in our record book. Read. Vengeance is mine. The Lord said what? Vengeance is mine. Payback is mine. Read. I will repay, saith the Lord. The Lord said he got you. All right. Brothers, 
Y'all yeah. got to stop doing all that uh, blood touching blood, black on black crime. We got to stop. Yeah. Because right? I, I want to highlight it. I uh, go to Proverbs 22 and 6. Because I highlight the part with the mother taking, she, she taking her son to his parole, pro, to his parole meeting. Being a damn fool. As parents, we're supposed to guide our children uprightly according to the commandments. We're supposed to train them up so they don't end up in the streets, in the hoods. And it is sad. I ain't going to say no names, but it's sad because many of the killings that happened in Chicago, you had a, the parent, a lot of times they go, and, and I'm not ridiculing nobody that died or none of that. But you had a parent go find the eighth grade picture where they had the, the, the high school, they, the, the, uh, the graduation hat on, and they smiling and looking innocent. They go find that picture. It was like, oh, my son was was innocent. He loved people. And then, but then, if behind the scenes, the the son was in the streets. You you look at his you look up at his YouTube page. He uh, brandishing guns all over the place. Got music videos dissing people that's dead. And it's like, come on now. You so you you you, you so you didn't see none of that. You didn't you didn't know your son was involved in none of that stuff. Why ain't no way, boy? Your parents, we. It's, it's our responsibility to make sure our children are not doing these things. We can't turn a blind eye and act like, act like ain't nothing happening. We know that you know your son was in the midst of evil. Read that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 6. Bring it up! Train up a child in the way he should go. And the way he should go is according to the commandments of God. He should know that you should not hate your brother in, his, in your heart. Your brother that look just like you grew up two blocks away from you in the same poverty-stricken neighborhood with the same low opportunities, went to the same high school as you, but you got hatred for them. We're supposed to, we supposed to be teaching our children the commandments so they grow up and know how to deal with their nation and righteousness. Did you read all of it? Yes, sir. Read. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. And when he is old, he's not going to depart from the things that you taught him. But... Because you didn't teach them the commandments, you let them roam the streets, you let them get around the, the OGs and not raise them. You let the, the, the TV raise them and all that. Mm. He grew up, now he's yeah. a terrorist to the community. He's a ter terrorist to his own people in the, in the community that you live in. He's, a he's one of the reasons why these babies are getting shot in the street. But you have turned a blind eye because you, you trim your ways because it's your son, you trim your ways to seek love. Get that in Deuteronomy 20, 21. Because this is the scriptures tell us how we're supposed to deal with Absolutely. a son or a daughter. We supposed to, how we're supposed to deal with our children if they rebellious. Don't do nothing you say. You know your you know your hey, you gotta be in as, as when, when the street lights come on. They come in at, at 1 a.m. You know your children are out there doing evil and, and wickedness, but you turn a blind eye because it's your son. Because you love them. And in all reality, no, you actually don't love them because you're allowing them to go into that, into that idolatrous and wicked lifestyle where they're killing and shooting brothers and sisters. Read that. Deuteronomy 21 and 18. 18, 18. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 21, verse 18. Bring it up! If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son. Meaning your son don't do nothing you say. He always rebellious. You got to tell him 20 times to do something. Shouldn't be 20 times. But he, he's stubborn. He don't do nothing you say. He just rebel. You tell him to come in at a certain time, he come in two hours later. Tell him to come straight home from school, he come home from school with the police bringing him to the door because he stole something out of the store. That's a stubborn and rebellious son. That's signs that your child then got caught up with the wrong people. But a lot of parents turn a blind eye like, like ain't nothing happened. That's fact. And look, like you said, these mothers, fathers who... They know what they children be into. Exactly. They know damn well these men don't they don't shot killed other people in the street. Exactly. Then when they when they child get it, they get on the news. Oh, he was my baby, ain't did nothing to nobody. He was an honor roll student play basketball. He was an honor roll student in fourth grade. Stop it. Get some help. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Read on. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father. Or the voice of his mother, and that, when they have chastised him, will not hearken unto them. You know it, cause you 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 disciplined him. You disciplined him while he was growing up here and there. But he, the, you know, your son was when he went outside. He was with the wrong group of people, and you knew these things. The signs was all there. The signs was all there. All the red flags was thrown. Mm -hmm. Read. 
Look, they was thrown when you found this damn four five in this uh, book bag. Exactly. It was it yep. was shown when you found them rocks in this uh, drawer. Yep. You know came what I'm saying? Come house, on. Eyes, blood, shot red. Right. He, when he came, it smelled like weed. Yep. Come on, man. Read on. Verse 19. Then shall his father and his mother lay hold of him on him, and bring him out unto the elders of the, his city, and unto the gates of his place. So, the scriptures. This is how. This is. We don't do it now. Before we finish reading it, we ain't putting nobody to death today. Yeah. This is this is how we dealt with it. But this is how you supposed to deal with your, your son get of age. Hey, you got to get up out of my house with that. Right. You in jail. Hey, my mother. I remember my mother used to tell me if I get if you get locked up, I'm gonna leave you in there. That's That's, right. the, that's how that's what's supposed to happen. Right. You get locked up. Hey, you did the crime. You gonna pay the. You gonna what, what they say? You gonna serve the time? What's the word? You gonna do the time? Yeah. That's like you, your parent. Your chief. Taking you to your parole. Come on, man. Right. Read. And they shall say unto the elders of his city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. Your son come in at night, drunk. You find liquor bottles all in this room. He, he, he's stubborn. So the, the scripture is saying, if you have a stubborn, you parents, if you have a stubborn and rebellious child, you know he out there game banging. You know he out there selling drugs. You know he out there doing all these things. You supposed to take him to the police station and tell him, hey, my son just, I, I found this gun. It does, what, you, you supposed to turn him in. That's how the violence gonna stop. Right. You gotta stop turning the blind eye. Read on. And let's see what they did during this time. Read. And all the men of his city shall stone him with stones. They did what? Stone him with stones. That he died. They said stone. They stoned him with stones. They mean they that evil and wickedness. Nah, you gotta go. You gotta get up out of here. Today we ain't stoning nobody. We ain't putting nobody to death. But when they get of age, hey, you gotta get up out of here with that. Don't bring that evil to my house. Right. Hey, I'm taking. I will. T I'm gonna drop you off at the police station. That's right. Read. So shalt thou put evil away from among you. And all Israel shall hear and fear. So it says, when you do this, you put away evil from among you. So the solution to getting these gangs and all this violence, all these killings that's happening in the streets of Chicago, the solution is take their butt to the take their butt to the police station, turn them in. You know your child is full of wickedness and evil, so they can get locked up, so they can get off the streets, and, and our young daughters. And young sons can stop getting shot. Two-year-olds getting shot. Two-month-olds. That's ridiculous. Man, listen. It's, it's, it's laws in the Bible placed for stuff like that. Give me that in Exodus real quick. Exodus chapter 21. We're going to start at verse 15. Teach shot. This is the book of Exodus chapter 21 verse 18. Because a lot of times right. what happens is, the reason why, like you said, the parents ain't taking their children to the post, turning them in themselves, they fear their own child. They scared of them. Watch this read. Yep. And if men strive together and want to smite. 21 and 15. 21 and 15. And he that smiteth his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. During the times of Moses, we didn't play with, we didn't play with children. All right? You had, you, had to, you had to instill the fear of God in them. You couldn't put your hands on your mother or your father. You did that, you going, you gotta go. No right? Way. Read on. And he that stilleth a man. Jump to verse 17. Verse 17. And he that curseth his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. You can't even disrespect them. That ain't what's happening today. But watch this. Um, read on. And if man strive together and one smite another with a stone. Or with his fist, and he die not, but keepeth his bed. If he rise again and walk abroad upon his staff, then shall he that, that smote him be quiet, be quick. Be quick. Be tried. Read. Only he shall pay for the loss of his time. So you got to pay for the loss of the time he, he had to miss school or work, things of that nature. It's long set in place for when you even fight your own brother. Read on. And shall cause him to be thoroughly healed. Now watch this. Here's a law based upon what's going on today because a lot of kids getting put to death. Watch this. Jump to verse 21. Verse 21. 
Notwithstanding, if he... I'm sorry, read verse 22. Verse 22. If man strive and hurt a woman... So if men get into a fight or whatever, or get into it with each other, right? Read. And hurt a woman with child. And they hurt a woman that's pregnant, right? That's with child. Read. So that her fruit depart from her. Her fruit is talking about the baby. If, if she happened to either lose the baby because of these two men fighting amongst them, or if she happened to the, uh, have a, the baby come out dysfunction. Read. And yet no mischief follow. Uh-huh. He shall be surely punished. It's a punishment behind that. You hurting children, it's a, it's a consequence behind that. Read. According as the woman's husband will lay upon him. Because the husband now upset. Because you just damaged his, uh, his seed. Read. And he shall pay as the judges determine. As the judges determine. Let's see what happens. Read. And if any mischief follow. I mean, if, the, if you end up killing a child because of your foolishness. Like today, Negroes shooting at each other, hitting everything but the target. They shooting kids. Right? Read. And if any mischief follow, then thou shalt give life for life. Read that again. And if any mischief follow. If any death come behind you hurting that child. Read. Then thou shalt give life for life. The Lord is not playing. See, the scriptures was written for a time for our learning. You're supposed to teach your children these scriptures so it can put fear of God in them, and they won't be behaving like this. All right, listen, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. segment fixing a broken black community dealing with game banging the wicked and idolatrous life of destruction so as we before we went to the break let's pull that article back up we before we went to the break we're dealing with the article we're dealing with how the at this point we're dealing with how the, our, the parent it's the parent's job to make sure that your child is not in the streets terrorizing the community because that's what's going on a lot of these children something sad because some parents are actually teaching their children the, the bad habits and the bad, and they being a bad influence on their children from birth. Because a lot of these games, the, the, the GDs and BDs, when you, when you look at the family line, the whole family line is, was GDs and BDs. It's, they, they passing down game banging instead of what we supposed to be passing down in God's laws. That's right. There's so many factors that um, led, that plays and our, it plays a role in the downfall of what's happening in the community, even as today. You know, like, uh, again, I, I spoke on earlier how crafty Esau is by locking up all the uh, leaders, so-called leaders. And once they got rid of the leaders, the, the, young, the young men are now left to figure this thing out on their own. And there's no more credo. There's no more laws and st stuff set in place. So now they're just running wild. They got... You, Seven-year-olds with guns running around, Run. killing each other. You know what I mean? Give me that to Isaiah real quick. Isaiah about uh, children and all oppressors. Three and twelve. That's right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter three, verse twelve. Uh huh. As for my people, as for the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and maybe the Indians. Read. Children are their oppressors. Who? Children are their oppressors. The children are the ones that's terrorizing the neighborhood. You got more children that's doing grand theft autos in any, any yep. time. More people are getting taken out of their car by way of gunpoint, being robbed by way of gunpoint by children. Yep. Youngest 10 years old. Yep. Right, sad, you know? Sad, sad cycle. Read and it again. Read it again. I'm sorry, from the top. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Children are oppressing the nation. Read. And women rule over them. And that's by crafty design, too, because the, 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 the enemy, Esau, he locked up all the fathers. We populate the prison system, the so-called black Hispanic Native Indians. So, yeah, that's why women rule over them. A woman cannot raise a man. They can only go so far with him. All right, read on. Oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err. The women that's... Ruling over the children is guiding the men, is causing them to err. The men are they, today are so effeminate and so emotional, they don't even care 
to take a ass whooping. They rather shoot. When the last time you saw a one-on-one -on -one fight? It don't exist, don't exist no, no more. No more. You see what I'm saying? Mother give the advice. He put your you better pick up some and bust. You better yeah, they gonna pick up some and bust for real. Yep. Bust about ah. six shots in you. Was that it? And destroy the way of their path. And they destroy their, they, they destroy their future. Because once they get caught for that murder charge or that drug charge, their life has been thrown away. It is what it is. We gotta we gotta fix that though. Go ahead. Hey, can you give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15 real quick? <coughs> this it's is why uh, the black families in Chicago, the black families throughout America need the Bible because we giving the wrong example to our children. The scripture he just read, the children are the oppressors in our neighborhoods because we have left a bad example to our children. We've been gang banging since the 90s, been selling dope since the 80s, been sagging your pants, been the different men. You got your daughters and young sons, they watching after you. You watching after us. When the Bible said you're supposed to train a child up in the way to go. That's but we right. doing the opposite. So this is the result of it. Read verse 15. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So because you chose to be a game banger, because you chose to terrorize the neighborhood, because so you chose to sell drugs through your community, the Lord said that these curses was going to fall befall us. What was one of the curses? What we, who we talking about? Tyshawn? Forgot the little boy's name. We talking Tyshine about Tyshawn. That was a curse from God. So because you refuse to serve God, this is what's the result right here. Read verse 41. Verse 41. Thou shalt begat sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. It said because you didn't, because you chose to be a game banker, your son and your daughter going to go into captivity. And now you had young brothers getting gunned down at 12, 13 years old. 11 years old. He went into captivity. Read that verse one more time. Thou shalt begat sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. You didn't enjoy them. You didn't get a chance. You 11, 9, 10, 11. You didn't get a chance to watch him graduate. You didn't get a, uh, give him a chance to get him see him uh, get his driver's license, get married, have children, maybe graduate from college. You didn't have a chance to enjoy your children because you chose the wrong path, and now your sons or your daughters have to or punished from God by that as a result. They go into captivity because we chose not to keep the commandments. Now we cursed as a people. Our sons and daughters go into captivity. You know it's a curse when you got to bury your child. It's supposed to be the other way around. Yep. You lived your life, now your child got to bury you. Right. But you curse for all the stuff that you did, transgress the laws, you, you got to bury your child. It's crazy, man. And it's, it's, a sad, it's a sad cycle. And as we bring it out, the solution is the Bible. It's that's not the right. games. You got to come lead them gangs alone. You got to return to the Bible. Because that's, that's, the, that's the only way this, the violence is going to stop. Is us keeping the commandments. Go back to the, pull that article back up. Pull that article back up. T-shot. Uh, where we at? I think we at the third paragraph. Yep. You can draw a direct line from T-Time's murder to Tyshawn Lee's murder. Assistant State's Attorney Craig Engel Brinson told jurors Thursday in closing arguments. This is so unbelievably personal. It's his mom. His mom gets shot. Mom's not out there game banging, but she ends up getting shot. So the response has to be proportionate. Scroll down. Two other alleged killer ward members, not Stokes, were charged in the Morgan shooting and are awaiting trial. Courts records show. Go down. Just five days after the attack on the Morgans, 
Dottie fatally shot 19-year-old Brianna Jenkins while targeting the killer ward members seated beside her. Perse uh, prosecutors have charged. Dottie was driving near the area of 68th, 78th, oh, 78th and Hor Hornor, Honorary. Honor Streets, Honorary. Honorary Streets, when he spotted the rival sitting in a car. Persecutors said he exited his car, walked up to the vehicle, and opened fire, according to the prosecutors. Dottie later said he shot Jenkins because she, was, she started screaming, prosecutors alleged. Prosecutors chose to Children go are our oppressors, like the scripture says. As you read that, these are kids killing kids. Read on. Prosecutors chose to go to trial first on Tyshawn Slane. Dottie, who faces up to life in prison for the nine-year-old's murder, is still awaiting trial for Jenkins' killing. On the same day in March 2016, the prosecutors detailed Dottie's gruesome role in Tyshawn's killing. Stoke, the boy's father, sought retaliation of his own shooting Morgan's girlfriend, her nephew, and a third victim at a gas station on the 7900 block of South Ashland Avenue, prosecutors allege. So get that, get uh, Leviticus 19 and 17, because we, we going through this and showing you that that, that is just a continuous cycle. You see the, the, brother, the, the brother that shot Tyshawn Lee, he shot Tyshawn Lee, and then he went and shot Another uh, member of the killer, what is what they say, the killer, killer war gang, and then killed the sister that was with him because she screamed. It's just a cycle of killing. Then, uh, what's his name, Morgan? No, not Morgan. That's not the one. What's the father's name? Pierre Stokes. He he retaliate for the death of his son and go kill the kill his killer uh, the brother girlfriend and the nephew. It's just a continuing cycle of murder, 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 murder. Read that. But if we, the thing we trying to show you that the solution is not in the gangs. It's senseless for, to, for everybody, to, for all these men and young men to be losing their lives over senseless things. Because right. if you trace back, if you, I, I can guarantee you, if you trace back when, it, when all the little stuff started, it's over something petty that brothers could have went and talked to each other about. Right. Read that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. That's the root of all the issue. You hate your brother. This brother look just like, and we say it repeatedly, brother look just like you going through the same struggles you going through, but you, you because you a rival gang, you don't go and shoot him down in the street. Because, because of something happened, petty, you can't go talk to your brother and, and Talk, talk about your differences, talk about your odds, and make peace with one another. Not saying you gotta be buddy, buddy, and best friends, but make peace. But no, nah, you, gotta, you gotta go and get a gun, you gotta go get a, a, a weapon, you gotta go get something to, to avenge yourself, to make yourself, you trying to, what's going on in the streets of Chicago, in all the cities around America, what's going on in the streets, everybody trying to prove who got the biggest balls. Clout. And it's senseless because now you get you you involve in children, children that don't really even understand what life is about, and they they losing their lives at a young age because these grown men are emotional and their emotions and can't control their emotions, so they just shooting the, shooting the next person they see. Read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So it said, don't hate your brother in, the, in your heart, meaning you meditating on how you gonna get back at him. You meditating in your mind how you going to retaliate, how you going to get back at them. That's hatred. It says, but you shall, it say what? You shall do what? Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. You should correct your neighbor. He stole something from you, correct him. He did you wrong, whatever he did, stole, cheated, lied, whatever. You go and correct your brother. Go and speak, speak your peace with your brother. To make Bro amends, bring that peace back. Read on. And not suffer sin upon him. Don't suffer him to continue in that sin. Don't suffer him to continue in that wrongdoing. You go and make amends with your brother. Read. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. This is what you got to understand, young black man. This is what you got to understand, GD, BD, Vice Lord. Four kind of hustler, black, black disciple. What you got to understand is this right here. Read that again. 
thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. This is this, this is why most of the murders go on. You you're trying to get revenge. The scriptures, if we apply this commandment right here, the murder rate is right. It wouldn't be 500 murders in Chicago. Right. It wouldn't be 700, however, whatever the number is. It wouldn't be that because if you stop getting revenge and, and go and talk to your brother and make peace, then that is, that's the solution. Right. A lot of these brothers don't even realize they're being controlled by a higher entity. Yep. You know, and that higher entity we're talking about, a lot of these brothers don't even realize they worshiping Satan. Yep. When you in these gangs, bro, you you claiming a six-point star, the five-point star. You take the six-point star and you cut it in half, or you crack and trade. Listen, y'all worshiping Satan, don't even realize it. Right? Let's, give, let's get something real quick. Give me um, Revelation 12, start at verse 15. Bring it out! Let me show you something real quick. Revelation 12, verse 15. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 15. Uh -huh. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman. The serpent is the devil, all right? Yeah, spiritual Satan, you also have Esau, the so-called white man, right? Read it again. And the serpent cast out of his mouth Water as a flood so, after the woman. So what he cast out of his mouth, water as a flood, is talking about the media. The media. The, who runs the media? Hollywood. Who controls the radio? Who controls what we see on TV? The so-called white man, right? The Khazars, the so-called Jewish people, right? They control what you see, what you hear. And today, these young men, they see rap, these rap videos, they see these video games. They mimicking this stuff, right? Read on that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Who is that her that's carried away? The her is talking about the nation of Israel, right? Read on. And the earth helped the woman. Uh-huh. And the earth opened her mouth. Uh-huh. And swallowed up the flood with the dragon cast out of his mouth. That dragon is America, all right? The woman is the 12 tribes. Read on. And the, drag and the dragon was wroth with the woman. Uh-huh. And went to make... So America... Or the so-called white man is upset, like we read in uh, Psalms two. They they are uh, they raging, all because of the nation of Israel is God's chosen people. Read, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. So they are, they're against us, and let's see why. Read, which kept which keep the commandments all of God. All because we keep in what was given to us in the very beginning, which is the Bible, God's law, statutes, commandments. That's why the other nations are so against <clears throat> us. Read. And have the testimony mm. of Jesus Christ. We have the testimony with the records of our brother, Christ, right? That he is a black man, according to the Bible. Now that That's the prophets right. are really waking up, and we're showing y'all every day, every week, 365 on the streets, who we are according to the Bible. Y'all know who he is. Y'all see the purple and gold. Give me Psalms 82, verse 5. I'm going to show you what's going on. T-shot! There's no coincidence what's going on. This is, this is prophecy. Psalms 82 and 5. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 5. Uh -huh. They know not, neither will they understand. You gangbangers, y'all don't know what's going on, and neither will y'all understand what's going on. You don't know what's going on, and you won't understand. But we here to teach you, give you the understanding. Read. <clears throat> they walk on in darkness. Y'all are walking in sin. You're breaking every law in the book. You're walking in darkness. Read. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Everything is out of course. Every, and y'all know what y'all doing is wrong. It's out of course. All right? Some of y'all are actually related to each other, but in, 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 in um, the opposite gang, and you still shooting at each other, killing each other down. That's ridiculous. Was that verse 5? Yes, sir. All right, I want Isaiah 5 and 20. I'm going to just run through these real quick, because I want to show y'all what's going on, because y'all, you're, you're, you're clueless. Teacher. Isaiah 5 and 20 real quick. It says the whole course, the whole earth is out of course. It's out of, it's out of, it's out of order. Read what you got. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 20. Uh -huh. Bring it up. Woe unto them that call evil good. Destruction is coming to you, brothers and sisters, you gangbangers, who's calling evil good. Who said that it's good to, to gangbang? Who said that it's good to cock your head to the left or to the right? Who said that it's good to uh, sell crack to your auntie? Who said that it was good to get re revenge 
on your brother. Read on. And good evil. And you calling good evil. You calling good evil. They be bragging on how high they got. Mm-hmm. Bro, I got too high last night. How many, bro, I, I, yeah, I hit shorty. Ooh, ooh. How many women you slept with? You calling good? You calling evil good? Was that it? No, sir. Keep going. That put darkness for light. You making wickedness look glory. You glorifying wickedness. Shame. You you got okay yeah you got the nice cars, but what you do to get that car? You glorifying wickedness. You making evil look good. You making sin look enticing. Wickedness. That's what y'all doing. Was that it on that? No, sir. Keep going. And light for darkness. Light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Now, you put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Brothers, it don't feel good to get shot. Y'all act like getting shot is the new thing. You know what I mean? Like, they they get a rap song and they boast and brag about it. Then they get a record deal. You know what I mean? Read that last part again. That put bitter for sweet. That put bitter for sweet. When you get shot, don't no music play. That's the movies. You, you, man, you, you about to be on your deathbed. That's a set up. They get locked up and they glorify that. They get out smoking something, loud, whatever you call it. Zah. Read. And sweet for bitter. And sweet for bitter. Bruh, they, they get locked up, get out. Man, I just did a bid, bruh. I ain't scared to go back. I've been in jail. Bruh, ain't nothing Boy, glorif- glorious get- about that. Yeah, some of the prophets was locked up too. But they ain't get out boasting and bragging on it. And they get shot. They get shot, and then get, and, and then uh, uh, and and recover and think they untouchable. Yeah, that's another thing. Boy, if you don't get. Hey, I wanted to say something about this scripture right there. Can you read that one more time? Yes, sir. Verse twenty. Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Because the reason I wanted to read that scripture again is because you got a lot of gang banks, especially in Chicago. You know, BDs, GDs, uh, vice lords. If you might catch an older one or two or one of the younger gang bangers that might have went on YouTube and found out that GD stood for growth and development. Or you got some folks saying that Crips originally stood for community revolution and progress. Bloods, brotherly love over destruction. But the Lord said, woe to them that call good evil and evil good. Because guess what? Whatever it might have stood for originally, it damn sure ain't what it stand for now. GD, BDs, Crips, Bloods, they destroying our neighborhoods. They have yep. destroyed the black family. They have well, the black community, the black family. Young men I heard is in these organizations, quote unquote, they not organized at all. They terrorize in the neighborhood. So woe to you brothers that's trying to justify you being the GD. You the right GD, but everybody else bad GDs, I guess. You the right blood and crip. The Lord say woe to him that do that. That stuff is evil, and you got to come out of it. There's no good in being in the gang at all. At all. So um, go back. We're going to go to the next article. Go to uh, Public Enemy Social Media is Fueling Gang Wars in Chicago. Because that's another, that's another thing. Social media. That, and I don't even understand it. I, it. It was a time where it was still evil. But it was a time where when gangs did the evil, they did it behind the scenes. Now they do evil, and it's broadcast all over the Internet. They're doing vid- music videos with guns all in the video. They lyrics tell on they self, tell on the murders that they did. Like, what, like, what are you doing? Like, are you serious? Congratulations. And then Congratulations. they do it, and that's what this article I'm going to. They do it and get a multi-million dollar record deal. Uh-huh. They'll put a teardrop under their eye to represent that they got another body. They'll put, they'll get on social media and put the skull and bone, let you know they got another body. A yep. casket. That, it's, it's crazy, bro. Stop it. Crazy. And then this, this article go into what you just brought out, too, what you just brought out about them. Uh, they, they, when you said, when you was bringing about, out about how these things are set up, we, it's, it's, it's basically a setup, a trap. It's a trap that's set, and we fall right into the trap. That's a setup, it's, it's designed by our enemy to keep us in that state, in the lowest state. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed 
But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.